we are getting close to seeing hopefully some things spin at last and the topic today is getting these things hooked up and onto the lathe. I decided to ditch the big brain box that was on the other end of the lathe and go with the VDF VFT yeah, VFT, the latest PDF, I think. Oh, well, something like that. Because that gives me a flexibility on the speed range. Because the lowest gear in this lathe is 180, and that's quite high. Well, it goes up to the 4000 and something ribbons, which is completely necessary for what I do, but yeah, anyway. The first thing I need to do is, of course, hook this up and test that they work. I bought them both used. I have not tested them yet, so first I'm gonna test the drive and then I'm gonna hook up the motor. Then I'm gonna take everything back apart again and put them on the lathe. That is if they work. So I better start get going. Okay, the first thing is to get this this thing well, open, but connected and. Nothing left to do but try to make it so. It does. Okay, there is some actual test that needs to be performed. That's says so in the manual and so now I have to get the manual out and see what I'm supposed to do. I know it's kind of cheating but you gotta do what you gotta do. Well, I'll get back to you when there's something interesting. Okay, turns out it goes like it always goes. I have the wrong manual so it took a bit of googling but now I got the motor hooked up. That was not the hard part. Hard part was to get it turning because the settings in there were whatever and because I didn't have a manual, these, these things don't actually tell <laughs> that much without the manual. But now I have it and So this is the tricky part because the engine or motor is quite heavy and I can't fit my hoist in here. So, But luckily the dolly which has wheels on it fits there and I can roll the motor right next to the mounting point and at least get the bolt started and then I can use car jack or something like that to lift the motor upwards in the right position. Uh, this is not the original motor for, the, for this lathe. Uh, uh, the original is like 20 kilowatts so right now I don't have enough power to run it but in the future I hope I have. So this is temporary and that's why I haven't cleaned this or anything. I just tested that it works. The nice thing about this lathe is that it has this quite versatile mounting because these move independently and they have T-slots so you can fit pretty much any 
any engine with or motor with feet to this lathe so but there is there's not enough there's barely enough room right now to fit the motor in there so it's gonna be a tight squeeze so I probably can't get any decent shots of me installing it but that's the general idea this is the moment of truth we've got oil we've got power we've got a motor on so the setting should be in it should start turning in the right direction so this should be this late spinning again in I don't know 10-15 years the only question mark is the late oil pump I don't know if it's good or not but we'll see soon enough well the flow is not that great but you know, maybe I need to do some checking on the oil pump but I don't know but there's nothing preventing me from putting in a gear and seeing it spin just for a second 